why hello everybody lego dude 11 here and today is the very first movie review i have done today is a movie review of aquaman dc's aquaman this movie was my personal favorite in my opinion this was my favorite dc movie this is the newest dc movie it's my favorite um personally the best out of all of them um they did they did a really good job making aquaman not look lame in my personal opinion now this is a spoiler movie spoiler review of the movie i will be going through these are the title cards right here um i just have different pictures of the different scenes and i'll be going through talking about the movie the different scenes of the movie so um if you want to leave get out now because there's going to be spoilers this is a spoiler review of the movie and um yeah i put this little thing together for you guys so uh here we go i'm going to be talking about the movie we'll get to the movie later right now this is just the introduction if you will and we will be getting to the movie in a little little bit here so um yeah so that's what we'll be doing here today and um this is Aquaman. The tide is coming. A tide is coming, which I think is really cool. And here's the actual movie, um, like cover, movie album cover, not album cover. That didn't make sense. But anyway, so we're gonna talk about the movie here. There's gonna be spoilers. I really thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I'll recommend it. It came out on December, a uh, December twenty first, two thousand eighteen. I don't know if it's out in theaters, but you should go check it out. It's a really good movie. And I don't think it is, but I would get it on DVD. I don't have many movies on DVD, but I would get it. So here we go. Right off the bat is Thomas Curry, Aquaman's father. Aquaman's father, Thomas Curry, who's a lighthouse keeper. And uh, there's this storm happening. And he also played uh, Jango Fett in The Clone Wars from Star Wars, Attack of the Clones. Um, I realized that part of the way through. And um, this is um, Thomas Curry's father, Aquaman's father. And there's a storm going. And uh, he um, finds this woman, Queen Atalanta, not Atlanta, but Atalanta, washed up on the shore, and he brought her home to his house. And um, later they get married. Or no, they don't get married. They just have a child. You know, you know, they have a child, and uh, named Arthur Curry. And they have a they're, these people, these Atlantean guards come uh, to the house and uh, fight them and she has to fight them and there's like a fight scene and uh, she's like uh, she has to go back home so she um, hugs Aquaman there's young Arthur right there young Arthur Curry who known as Aquaman and um, so yeah and uh, she's hugging him goodbye because she has to leave and uh, she loves him so much now um, later uh, I do get this next picture here will show will show um a story uh before before she leaves before she does hugs him um this is like when um queen atlanta is atlanta is showing telling a story to aquaman young aquaman about young arthur about how atlantis came about and was built and like used the power of the this is the power of the trident use it wisely and that type of thing and this is how atlantis was built and then it got destroyed whatnot and uh so yeah that's that happens and then he here is arthur curry this is aquaman so we finally see aquaman and um here are the two pictures i really like these two pictures they work together really well um home is calling as you can see and um this is where we are inside um, this is before the title sequence, Aquaman. And the, uh, Ar young Arthur is getting bullied by two bullies. That was great how I did that, how I said that. I mean, two bullies, haha. Uh -huh. He's in an aquarium on a field trip, and uh, they're basically bullying him, and these two sharks like are like break the glass, and, and Aquaman's like, haha, -ha, the fish are my people. Haha, uh -huh, I'm from Aqu Atlantis or whatever. And, you know, that's cool. His eyes start glowing. Now, this scene right here is where. Um, a villain and Aquaman are fighting. This is after the title sequence. Aquaman and Aquaman is on a submarine fighting a villain. Yes, that is great. That black guy is a villain later. 
Um, I, w I don't want to say it. If you know it, great. Just don't spoil it, because uh, I'm going to get to that later. But that's a fight, epic fight scene, and his dad die. The, the black guy's dad dies, drowns in that submarine. Now next up here, we see Princess Mera. Princess Mera, she's a redhead, like me. Um, her father, we'll get to his fa her father later. We, we see Princess Mera, and behind her is um, a... Um, a um, what am I trying to say? A bar, um, where Aquaman and his dad were drinking and having some fun times. <sighs> but uh, I'll get to that uh, in a little bit here later, because we see here a first look of Mera, and uh, she warns Aquaman. Right here, we see the first look of Mera, and uh, she warns Aquaman of uh, King Orm, the first. Um, his half Aquaman's half brother, King Orm, uh, his half brother that's going to take over Atlantis, and um, who's evil, and uh, this is the first look of Mera when she first. Um, I like those water droplets that are dripping off of her, um, of her hands, um, when she comes out of the water from Atlantis. But uh, this is where Aqu this picture right here is where Aquaman and um, his dad are talking in um, a bar, and uh, some guys come up. And, um, are like, hey, are you that fish guy from TV? And Aquaman's like, yeah. Um, and they're like, they just want to take some pictures on their little kid phone. And I thought, like, this big muscle man has his, like, pink case on his phone. And it just cracked me up in the theater. I thought it was funny. They just took some pictures, had fun, drinking beer and whatnot. So now this picture here is Mera's dad, Princess Mera's dad, King Nereus, who's also a redhead. Um, so King, that's King Nereus right there. And then next up we got... King Orm, or no, not King Orm, Ocean Master, who's also King Orm, um, ha Aquaman's half brother, and then we see them talking face to face. This is the back of Orm, um, King Orm, uh, and also there's King Nereus. Um, I don't know why they're both kings. Um, well, King um, Orm is kind of king. Uh, he, he's king at one point in the movie, and then Aquaman's king, and then there was a king long long ago before Aquaman and then before King Orm at the time there's King Orm and Aquaman are trying to fight together so here we go let's go to the next part this is Volko who is also known as Willem Dafoe's character Willem Dafoe was Green Goblin in Marvel's Spider-Man the original Spider-Man movie this picture I just added in for a little bit of fun this is a, a creature from Atlantis who an underwater creature I think from Atlantis an underwater Atl Atlantean guard creature which is I like this creature um, I just added this in for fun it didn't really go in this part I wanted to add this in at the end but it, it just worked in right here because they they had these creatures in in this scene so that's why I added it in here um, now this scene um, was uh, where Volko was teaching um, young teenage Aquaman to um, use the power of the trident wisely even though it has five points it's called a trident uh, they didn't say it in the movie, but that was in uh, a different video. <sighs> but right here was um, um, what am I trying to get? At? Oh, so teaching like him the swim, and like they were swimming around Atlantis, and uh, used the power of the trident. Now this, this was where um, Aquaman was basically Aquaman and Mera went to Volko to. Um, find, uh, find like the. They found Volko, and he's like telling them, "You have to get the the trident from your long lost relative, your, the king, the one who was originally king." And uh, then they got into a battle with these guys right here, known as Merc, M U R K Merc. Um, these this is a toy version though. This is not the thing that was in the movie. It was in the movie, but it was basically like um. This is just the toy version of it, not the actual version that was in the movie. But um, they've had a fight with these guys. Um, different. These are Atlantean guards known as Merc. Different character. Uh, different. There were like multiple versions of these guys. And then, uh, then um, Aquaman went to Atlantis again. Can you believe it? Uh, Aquaman went to Atlantis again to fight his brother, half brother, King Orm, um, in gladiator suits. I do have both these pictures. I do have both of them there later. And uh, they fought in gladiator suits. This was called the Ring of Fire. So this was, that's that's that what that was that. <laughs> Can't speak, guys. This is what that was called, the wing, Ring of Fire. And um, 
then uh, here we go. We got King Orm. This is King Orm, also known as Ultra Master, but this is Orm in his gladiator outfit. So I think that was really cool to add that in there. And then you can't see his face. And then uh, we got King, uh, uh, not King. We got Aquaman, Arthur Curry, in his gladiator outfit, which I think is, uh, he looks amazing. And I have this picture, and then I have another one of him swimming uh, from a swimming view, which looks really, really spectacular. I like that I got that as well. So, um, there we go. We got Aquaman in his gladiator outfit, and then next up we will see him in his gladiator outfit again, going, hurrah! Like, um, oh, I'll get you, Orm. Like, oh, I'm gonna get you, King Orm. I wanna kill you. Not he. He doesn't kill anybody in this movie. Um, there are like fight scenes. I, there are. I think there are mild blood. I'm not sure. I can't recall. But this movie was really good with the action and the fight scenes because nobody kills each other. Nobody. Well, I take it back. I think people just knock each other out. Um, that's what a lot of hero things are about. Nobody like really kills each other. I just hit my microphone. I'm sorry about that. But this scene, Aquaman and Mera are in I Italy. I think they're in Sicily, Italy. Um, I know it's Italy, but I forget if I'm wrong. But, uh, they're trying to find the one tr two trident to take down Orm. And, um, this is, um, where they wind up fighting this guy right here. Known as the villain, known as Black Manta. Which, I really, really enjoyed this villain quite a bit. Black Manta, look at this. This is sick. This is so sick right here. Because I love this villain of the movie. I did like Ocean Master, but Black Manta was great. This is the villain where he create. This is the guy from the sub, where uh, they had the fight scene in the beginning after the title card. Um, and they um. Uh, he this is where he makes his tech with Atlantean technology, his armor and his mask, and he um tries to shoot it, but it doesn't work right, and it and it uh, destroys it. The helmet destroys itself. And he's like, I think I'm going to need a bigger helmet. So that's from uh, that one movie, I'm going to need a bigger ship. Not not the movie, I'm going to need a bigger ship. The line, I'm going to need a bigger ship. So, this scene, this part where they're fighting Black Manta was really cool. This is Black Manta in the background and Aquaman jumping out from the explosion. Which I have to say, this was beautiful. I loved it. The lasers and the explosion, it was beautiful. The, um, it was great. Like, it, just like the spectacular... Um, action and Black Manta. Like, I just loved Black Mantis and how his lasers worked. It was beautiful. Now, this scene was kind of funny because um, <coughs> Black Manta and uh, Black Manta, Aquaman and Mera both f finally found a hologram, holographic projector that ho that uh, was a hologram of the guy with the trident, where to find the trident. But basically, what it was was. Um, they needed. It was so dry in the desert that they needed a drop of water from. Aqu Mera used a drop of uh, water from Aquaman's forehead uh, to um, make it uh, work. And there you can see the hologram um, of the guy with the trident. I forget his name. I think it was Poseidon. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was Poseidon. But um, yeah. So there we go. There's the trident. And we later uh, in the next next picture we see the tri Aquaman holding the trident at the waterfall. And then, when Aquaman finds the trident, he uh, actually finds his mother, who he thought was dead. And later, Aquaman, um, or his mother goes to King Orm and uh, all as well. But they, together, they find out that their mother is alive still, because they thought she was dead. They uh, All the Atlanteans thought she was dead. But anyway, this is the trench creature. This is the trench creature, which I thought was really, really cool looking. Um... I added it in. It was called a quote unquote. Uh, it's one of the quote unquote um, villainous creatures of the movie, which it is villainous creature of the movie. And uh, they uh, use like a light to get away from it. Not moths. What are moths? Don't the moths are attracted to light? I forget what's not. But anyway, they're they are they don't like light, so they um, go away from it. <sighs> now um they swim away from it. Now this is King Orm in his battle pose. We always saw um. Ocean Master and his um thing and his um outfit, but this is another one like his battle pose, like where Aquaman fought fought him. That was like his picture there. Now this is Brine King. This is like a crab slash human creature. He um this is the toy version. I do have the next picture is um the side version of the movie. This is the the toy figure, um where I thought it'd show a better version of it. Um, 
like the crab hand and stuff. And uh, like this is the front view of it. I couldn't get the front view, uh, find a picture of it. I just found a side view. So this is what it looks like from the side view in the movie. So this is what I thought, or not what I thought. This is what it looks like. And uh, this is the Brian King, and in the background we get some other thing creatures. Um, this is the fight ending fight of the movie. So uh, here we go. This is where Aquaman and uh, Black uh, uh, Ocean Master fought, and they fought. And uh, Aquaman came in in this big like shark type thing, and he they they both sides fought. And um, there were two sides, like the crustaceans and like the sharks in Atlantis. And here we go. We have some sharks here that the Atlanteans rode, Atlantean guards rode, and uh, there were also some seahorses. I think that they had in the movie. I could have had that up, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, there was the Brian King. The Brian King also did have a speaking role, by the way. I forget who did it. I don't know exactly, but the Brian King did do a speaking role, which was cool. He did actually talk in the movie, I think. And right here we have behind the scenes look at um, Aquaman. So we did get Aquaman here. This is Arthur Curry, also known as what's his face. Um, as you saw there, that was some underwater bits. So I thought that was really cool that they used water for this movie. Um, so thanks for watching. That was my first movie review, guys. I hope you did enjoy the movie. That was it, the end. That was the movie. Go check it out. It came out December 21st, 2018. If you have not seen it, I would totally recommend this movie. But um, I totally would recommend this movie. If you have not seen it, go check it out. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy my first movie review. Um, if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Lego Dude Eleven. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at BubbleFitchNightMaster. Um, if you have not already, I will be coming out with more of these. I will be doing one definitely of Captain Marvel, definitely of Avengers Endgame, definitely of Spider-Man: Far From Home, and definitely of the DC movie Shazam. I might be doing one of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and possibly the de um, Detective Pikachu. Don't forget to leave a like down below if you did enjoy this movie. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me at J Master, And I will catch you guys here next time. Um, if you have not already, don't forget to get tickets now for this movie. Don't forget to t get tickets for all the other movies I just said about. Because all those other movies I will be doing. Spoiler movie review videos of. You should definitely check out. And I will be too. So don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to um, check out all those other movies, and don't forget to um, be awesome. And I uh, hope you did enjoy this one, which was a super duper fab, uh, fantastic um, video to put together. I will be putting together more of these movie reviews in the future. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye, everybody.